Jeez, Nicky Lennox, back in the house, yeah, back in the house today. Today, yeah, it's that day, the big release day for the Bantu. But we've gone through with Luvantu 1304, Rearing Ringtail. Oh, yeah, because I like the Bantu LXD, super fun, super fast. Everybody else will be doing all the others, but not me, no. We've gone through Luvantu, bit of LXD, love, loving that LXD, oh, yeah. So, what's different? Nothing much, really. Remember, it's only supported for nine months this time. There's no 18-month support anymore. It's nine months, which is super fine for most of us who use Linux anyway, because we like a bit of chopping and changing. If you don't want to change, you go for the 1204. Yes, 1204. Long support. Well, longer support, shall we say. I don't think it's five years. I think it's three years. Yeah, it's three years for the band, it? Yeah, okay. Well, it's basically more of a bug fix release than anything else. But I found it's a bit faster to use. Installation only took me 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. Super fine. Lovely, jubilee, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's have a quick look around. Usual LXDE, so you've got your exit here, time and date and stuff. My Ethernet connection, my volume, which is up and up, 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 up. Your default browser is, what is my default browser? It's Chromium, of course. They've gone for Chromium here, so that's lovely. Right, what do we get? Okay. Under accessories, we get the usual archive manager, a character map. Check out your discs, baby. PC Man FM file manager, that's what it says in the tin. And calculator, yeah, calculator. Now, this view is the paper mode, but we also get the basic mode, and we get the scientific mode, and the mode mode. And you can check out your buttons for all them as well and change anything you like, really. That's what it says. It's a calculator. I mean, it calculates stuff. Okay, what else we got down here? Okay. Image viewer for viewing images, leaf pad for your text editing, the LX terminal, which is down here, and X pad. Get jotting down your notes for later. Hmm. Right under games, <clears throat> these are all card games. So it may say Penguin Golf, it may say Penguin Spider, it may say Penguin Thunk, but no. They're all solitaire basically at the end of the day. Yeah, all card games. You can install whatever you like, including Steam, by the way, so no big deal. Now, bearing in mind if you've got a new machine, and it's got UEFI, you are advised to download the 64-bit version to get around the old boot locker, yeah? Or, if you're like everybody else, you just get around to your motherboard and go, no mate, no mate, no mate, turn secure boot off, and it'll work anyway. Okay, under graphics, we get a document viewer, MT Paint, and Simple Scan for scanning all your older photographs, oh yeah. Under internet, as I said before, Chromium is your default browser. I've actually installed Firefox, works super fine. Big old download this time, though. Pigeon for your internet messaging service, Slifed for your mail, and transmission for your torrents if you're into that sort of thing. Obviously, you only do it legally stuff, don't you? Only legal stuff. Yeah. Well, right. <clears throat> there's no LibreOffice here. It's Abbey Word, G G G numeric, and the document viewer. So I'll open Abbey Word up. 55321. Here we go. Super fine, super fast. Does what it says on the tin. Nice and large. Go to hell. About Abbey Word, what are we? 292. All the bugs that I had in it before are now sorted. Although sometimes it doesn't you know, recognise some certain characters. Remember, you will need to install the restricted extras for all the other bits and bobs for MS Core fonts and Flash and all that. Okay. Yeah, something Genomeric out for you? Yeah, go on then, because I like you. Genomeric, it just does what it says on Letin. It just does the business. Has done it for as long as I can remember, and I've been there a long time then. Okay, what else have we got? Under Sound and Video, you just get Audacious, Gnome M Player. GUVC view and XF burn, which is a very, very, very good burning utility. System tools, of course. If you use LXD, you know what's going on here, but I'm going to show you anyway. You get GW patch installer, iBus, the Lubuntu software center, which I'll open up for you in a moment. Check out all your printers, just plug them in and they'll work. The software updater, now we're all up to date here, we've already done all that. Synaptic package manager for getting stuff that's not in the Lubuntu software center, of course. System Profile and Benchmark, the Task Manager, which I'll open up for you. I'm using just over 100 megabytes of RAM here, so it's going to fly on most machines, isn't it, when you think about it? Oh, yeah. I'm not using no CPU at all, really. I'm really impressed. It's got better and better, actually. The last one wasn't too good for it. It was all right, but it wasn't super duper. This one is a vast improvement. And I must say that over the complete Ubuntu range, there seems to be a vast speed improvement. I mean, I will do Ubuntu eventually, but not yet. I ain't got enough time. Okay. <clears throat> Check out your time and date, your users and groups, UX term and X term. Under preferences, you can check out your Bluetooth stuff here, so that's pretty cool. This again, input method, yeah, yeah, yeah. Language support, nearly every language under the sun is supported, which is good. Network connections, if you've got a wireless device or if you're Ethernet, it will just connect straight away, basically. Obviously, if you've got a wireless internet connection, you'll have to put in your password, won't you? Yeah, silly. 
and you get your software and updates down the bottom. And you get run and log out. And that's all you get. But it is under 700 megabytes to download. And the installation was so fast, I'm not going to moan about that whatsoever. I've been using it for a few hours now. So if I'm the beta was pretty good as well. I've been, I've been using the beta for a while, so you know. But this is a bit different. There's some gone on there. This is something different. So anyway, we're going to open up a browser. Oh, it's Chromium, actually. It's not a browser, is it? No. Chromium, yeah. And up here, I'm going to type in Lubuntu. There we go. It's come up for us. There we go. I'll have a quick look for you and show what's getting down. Now, bear in mind, 64-bit and 32-bit. So it should be super-duper for you. Okay. This is Rare Room Intel down here. This is where you want to go. We'll quickly go to the announcements. And I'll click there for you. What is it and what it's done? And the improvements since 12.10, as I was saying a bit earlier. New version of PC Man FM, as I told you. And the artwork improvement. And there is new wallpapers. I'm going to show you something. They're quite nice, actually. Normally, you just get two, and that's, that's it. End of. Removing Catfish. Yes, done there. Uh, because Pac-Man. Uh, sorry, PC Man. I call it Pac-Man. Uh, who cares? It's its own search utility. So you don't actually need Catfish. And the bug was in player has been fixed. But it only happened with Pentium 4s. Although I didn't actually have that problem when I was using it on a Pentium 4. And there's several fixes for the image viewer. And basically, that's about it. There's nothing else they've done, really. Except under the hood, it does seem faster. If you want to go and get it, you click here, here and here. And you scroll down and just choose the one you want. Obviously, if you've got an older machine and you've got hardly any RAM, you can just go to the alternate and install it and it's all text. That's what it says on the tin. Can get for Power PC as well, by the way. Don't forget that. 64 and 32, as I said before. And down the bottom here, if you look, there's an ARM version. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you've got an ARM device. You want to give it a go? Go and give it a go. Which I might do later in a week, maybe. Yeah. So, anyway, that's about it, really, for Lubuntu. But all I'm going to say, it's so fast and easy to use. I don't see a problem with it whatsoever, and I'm pretty impressed with the speed this time round. So yeah, a bit of drinking before we finish off. Mmm, orange, yum yum, pig's bum. So what do I think of Lubuntu 1304 rearing ringtail? I think it's rearing to go, baby, rearing yes. And zoom. go download it, give it a go. You'll be pretty impressed by the speed. Really, it's really really fast. LXDE, no 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 stuff on the desktop. It's just plain and simple vanilla. Yes. Oh, before we do go. Let's check out our desktop preferences, and we'll go to our wallpapers. Now, as you can see, you've got default wallpapers, and we've got some squares, simple fast, we've got nature, <laughs> happy new year, some frosted glass, fish, fish, yeah, fish, and some wavy things, and a normal wavy thing. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to go with simple fast, and we're going to open that and change that for our desktop preferences, which is really nice, isn't it? Super duper lily cuba, lovely jumper. Anyway, Ubuntu. There's no thought, rearing wing tail, 98% because it just does what it says on my tin. Nicey, nicey. Sneaky, Linux, go nuts. I'll see you later, bye bye.